Homeopathy Info, VCO, Nipper Virus 2, Homeopathic Medicines for Nipper Virus Infection, Diagnosis of Nipper Virus Infection. In case of an epidemic or high-risk group it should be suspected in patients showing signs of illness and soon diagnosis should be established using real-time pollen. A race chain reaction RT-PCR, of the sample taken from throat swab or cerebrospinal fluid which directly detects virus proteins. Viral RNA can be isolated from the saliva of infected person. Egg and IgM antibody detection is possible only if the patient has survived the NIV infection as most of TH. E patients succumb to death even before this antibody appears in blood so it's done in those patients who have survived and are on recovery phase and not done RT-PCR for diagnosis, so just for confirming NIV infection in those patients this antibody Egg and IgM tests are done. And in those who have died and are suspected of death from NIV infection on those dead bodies and immunohistochemistry on tissue collected during autopsy is done this helps to get exact numbers of death due to disease and establish the scale of epidemic. Treatment of Nipper Virus Infection In allopathy there are no medicines available against Nipper virus and the treatment is usually only supportive measures. In homeopathy there are medicines available which are indicated in Nipper virus infection DSS condition. Homeopathic medicines for Nipper virus infection. Very fast acting acute remedies with profound effect on central nervous system and respiratory system needs to be selected for treating patients with Nipper virus infection. The best homeopathic remedies that are indicated as per genus epidemicus in Nipper virus infection outbreak are Notice, undermentioned homeopathic medicines should be taken only under guidance and observation of qualified and registered homeopathic practitioner. Aconitum napellus or belladonna are suited best in initial stage initial 12 to 24 hours of onset of first symptom when patient shows initial signs of illness that is fever and headache. This medicines can also be started in doubted cases without any side effects. Gelsemium sempervirens is best indicated when symptoms of central central nervous system have developed like dullness, dizziness, drowsiness, disorientation, blurring of vision tremors and trembling. Plumbum metallicum or ipcacuana is indicated in patient who shows symptoms of pain in abdomen, no, see, vomiting. Aspidosperma quebraco or bladder orientalis or arsenicum album are indicated homeopathic remedies in patients showing symptoms of respiratory tract involvement with breathlessness and choking sensation. Stramonium or baptizero zincum metallicum are best suited in later stages when patient is in delirium or comatose state. Nux vomica. Marked absence of thirst. There is heat in part of the body and coldness in other parts of body. One part of the body may perspire while other remain dry. There may be respiratory troubles along with fever. Phosphorus. Intense thirst for cold water. When the water turns warm it is vomited. There is sensation of heat or burning all over the body. Chill prevails in the evening time. At times patient feels very hungry during fever. Opium. It can give miraculous results if drowsiness and dullness is present with high fever and confusion of mind. Rust talks. The tongue is red and cracked. It is coated all over except a triangular space at front which forms a red triangular tip. There is a pain in the head as if a board is strapped to the forehead. For more information on how homeopathy can help you in prevention of Nipper virus call us or write to us. Homeopathy helps in improving your immunity and making you strong to fight the diseases. Homeopathy is without any side effects. Along with these homeopathic medicines it is necessary to isolate patient under hospital admission medical observation with proper supportive and symptomatic treatment. Prevention of Nipper Virus Infection Isolate Infected Persons
Avoid traveling to affected regions. Make sure food and drinks might not have been contaminated by bats. Avoid eating raw fruits. Do not eat fruits seems to be damaged by fruit bats. Stay away from bat and other animal droppings. Do not drink tadia brood in open containers near palm trees. Avoid meat and animal products in the region of outbreak. Maintain proper cleanliness and self-hygiene especially sanitary hygiene. Wear N95 mask when at public places if you are working, staying or traveling in region of outbreak. Avoid traveling to regions having fruit bats, especially caves and under those trees where bats resides. Avoid contact with pigs and pig handlers. Thanks for watching this video. You can download our Android app also. The link is in description. If you want to get all updates, please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click bell icon.